Richard, I hear you've become a bit of a TikTok star during lockdown. Is that right? No, me? Yeah, it was a bit, I don't know, it was a bit fluky. I think I just quit my job and thought, hey, let me just uh, run around in unicorn slippers and see what happens. And it happened. So, yeah. Unicorn slippers? Yeah, and I think a lot of men don't, you know, appreciate that, you know, we're allowed to be feminine and a bit cosy when we're indoors. And um, they were my ex's slippers and I kept them. They light up in the dark and they uh, made me famous. So, yeah, just kept, kept, them, kept them on and kept them. I, I, I need to see these videos. <laughs> You know what it was? I think it was just, I think what a lot of people liked about it was me showing that I was comfortable. Yeah. And I think sometimes on Instagram, a lot of people are sort of kind of like, don't show that side to them because it's it's quite a pretentious platform where I feel like TikTok's a little bit more, right, time to show your personality, sure. time to be a little bit honest. And I think because I had a missus, I weren't really trying to get any attention from females as well. So I didn't care. Yeah. And I think a lot of people like the didn't care attitude and yeah. here I am. And you're not together anymore? We are still together. Oh, you're still together. Oh, I, was, I was thinking oh. you might need to be on the next uh, X on the beach. Nah, <laughs> you know what it is? This is so funny. So I spoke to Chet Skett today, right. who was actually been on the uh, X on the beach show because obviously he uh, handles Faded. And he got sent one of my videos today and was actually, I was just like, oh my God. And I was like, it's so weird you're messaging me because I'm going to an excellent week screening today. So it was a funny conversation. It was good though. And whilst we're on the topic of X on the Beach, mm -hmm. do you follow the show? I haven't watched it for a while. Again, I think because in my opinion, YouTube and social media are taking over a lot of TV watchers. And I'm quite, I'm quite with, I would prefer to watch YouTube over TV, but I think because I know a lot of the guys that are actually in it and it seems a little bit like there's a lot of drama starters in, in this series. Can I ask who do you know? No, uh, no. But come on, oh, come I, oh, on. Who so, do you know about the series now? So I think like, obviously I'm, I'm aware of sort of kind of like Nathan from Geordie Shore. I lived in Newcastle for three and a half. Everyone knows Nathan? Uh, James Locke obviously because I, I live in Essex. So I don't know him personally, but I've seen him at events and I've seen him about and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, at the moment, I think that's it. Who, who I know from. So it's just Nathan and Lockie? Yeah, I know I know where other people are from, like Love Island wise yeah, and stuff yeah. like that, but I don't, I haven't met them or know them yeah. personally, yeah, so. And who are you rooting for? I know it's a difficult question, but no, honestly, Nathan or Lockie? Nah, no, James, I'm from Essex, you yeah. know what I mean? So it's just, you got to stick with nice. where you're from, so yeah. But Na Nathan's probably going to be the one that makes me laugh the most, so yeah, yeah I'm quite excited. Yeah, he's got a great personality, yes. hasn't he? Yes, he has. Yes. He's a good well. lad. So nice to meet you. You too. I could just say, everyone, we're twinning tonight. We Have are. you noticed? Blacked out. Come on. I think I think, I think you've actually outdone me. No, it's quite embarrassing. No, don't be serious. You look amazing. Thank I love this too. suit. Great shoes, top to bottom. You are amazing. You. And I'm sure everyone appreciates your support as well. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. No Thank you, you very much. Anytime. Take care.